The Shape of Water, um, his, well, his new movie. I was going to bring that up. Yeah. I forgot about it. Oh, man. I, when I saw the trailer for that, it just looks freaking, it looks amazing. Yeah, it does. It really dope. does. So that that film's coming out next month yeah. in December. And uh, it's also getting a companion book. Okay. Which is going to be filled with um, high concept art and making of, which will be released, um, was it December 19th? Nice. You, got, you should be able to pick that up wherever they sell books or on Amazon. Awesome. Yeah, wherever you can buy uh, novels, which Sick. is pretty cool. I, I'm, I'm, you know, pretty stoked to check out the movie. Yeah. And then the book looks pretty rad. The, I mean, it's safe to say beneath, uh, Guillermo <laughs> does uh, does um, does pretty rad stuff all the time. Yeah, I feel like his uh, his movies have a. Um, they're like uh it's like fantasy based if you you know kind of yeah like crazy fantasy like really weird and uh i haven't seen um what's that movie called i think it's all in spanish or pans pans you, La- you've never seen i've pans never Labyrinth? seen it no i remember when it first came out and i was like oh that looks cool and then i saw the trailer i'm like i don't want to read oh <laughs> <laughs> and then so i was like yeah i'm never gonna watch that movie and um, I'm kind of interested to um, yeah, you should definitely to watch, watch it now. It, I mean, it looks pretty cool. It looks it's, insane. Uh, I guarantee you that it's ten times better than what you would think it, it okay. would be. It's uh, it's super violent, but mm. then it has this like kind of fairy tale backdrop. Yeah, and I, and that's not something that's v- been touched. So when that came out, it was like it it freaked everybody out because it <laughs> looks like a kids movie. Yeah, but it's really not at all. Okay. <laughs> it's not okay. at all. Is it rated R? Isn't it? Yes. Okay. It's there's some very like br- <laughs> brutal stuff that goes on in there, and uh, but it's awesome. Okay. You know, uh, he was also supposed to do. This is old news now, but he was originally supposed to be in charge of the Hobbit. Oh and, really? Yeah, and he uh, he jumped off of that for some reason and, and started another project. But yeah, he was originally supposed to be in charge and do and do all that, and then it didn't wow. work out. But. Uh, um, Adding to some of my Del Toro news, have you heard about people wanting him to take uh, take the reins on the Dark Universe because of um, because of the Shape of Water and how how it's so it's like a reincarnation of the creature from the Black Lagoon. Yeah, yeah. So so how fitting would it be? Like you know, fuck like fuck the mummy, fuck <laughs> all, all this stuff yeah. because those are fl- like even Dracula Untold was a flop. Yeah, they just keep. You know, I feel like um, I know the mummy did good overseas, overseas yeah. and that's why they want to keep keep it going. But I think I completely one hundred percent agree. They should give it give it to him and have uh, yeah. him oversee the that whole thing. He was actually um, in talks to do um, Del Toro was in talks to do uh, what's it called um, Justice League Dark, mm. um, and that's just a more. Uh, um, like the magical side of the Justice League, there's like mm-hmm. a, a different group of people who deal with like Constantine and and uh, uh, the Swamp Thing and a couple of other other people. But uh, he was attached to it for a little bit, and I guess he stepped away from it. Oh. But that's pretty interesting that I could see him actually um, taking care of that. No, but yeah, I mean, I can I can really see. Uh, him taking over the dark universe which is uh which would be cool if it's happening yeah i mean there's nothing it's just what people are wanting yeah there's nothing official but i hope something uh comes out of that yeah that'd be cool for sure um yeah i think we're all so we're done with the news yeah and now uh next up we have weekly rex oh yeah what do you got for me i got two um my first one is midnight special Okay. I don't know if you've seen... Have, did you see that one? Yes. Okay. With, uh, it's Adam Driver, Michael Shannon. Yeah. And uh, I always forget his name. <laughs> <laughs> um, He's in um, the new... the It Comes at Night. It Comes at Night. Yeah, I know you're... Yeah. He's also in um, Bright. Plays one of the goblin guys. Oh, yeah, that's right. But, uh, yeah. That one's... Uh, it's a pretty awesome movie. Um... My other one is Southpaw. Oh, with, yep, Gyllenhaal. Yeah, Hall. Hall, which is a 
It's an awesome movie. Rachel McAdams. Yeah. Um, Fifty Cent. Is he in the movie? Yeah, he's uh, the manager. Oh yeah, that's right. Dang, <laughs> yeah. I forgot. He, yeah. Dang, I forgot he still acts. That's crazy. <laughs> Um, yeah, so those are my two, um, Rex, I don't, yeah. Very cool. I have, uh, just one. Okay. But it's a pretty epic one. It's, uh, it's an HBO original documentary that came out, uh, and it might have been a couple years ago now. It's called Kurt Cobain Montage of Heck. Ooh, nice. It's a deep, intimate look at the life and times of Nirvana frontman Kurt Cobain. I had to, I wanted to do, uh, recommend this because... Since I've watched this documentary, well, before and after, I have never watched a, a documentary that hit me so hard. Like, this is still probably my number one documentary, like, I've ever really? watched. Wow. Yeah. It's about, I think it's, like, two and a half hours, and it's such a, a revealing look at, at him just as a person. It comes, okay. it starts from when he was born all the way up until his, his death. Yeah. And uh, it's just... It's insane, and I feel like you you really get to know him as a person. And uh, and this is coming from someone who's like a moderate fan of Nirvana. I was never obsessed with them. Yeah. Like I, I think they're good. I've always respected them and the grunge scene or whatever. But um, yeah, like I said, I'm not like the biggest fan. But this totally, um, I feel like it breaks down a lot of barriers uh, to him as a person. Mm-hmm. And they they've even had animators come in and like a, like animate scenes to like his like poetry and oh, wow. s- like like um, recordings of him talking and stuff. It That's was just cool. like inc- yeah, very intense stuff. It's called Kurt Cobain Montage of Heck. Nice. Check it out. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, I actually wanted to to. Uh, Sorry to put you on the spot, but I wanted to add another segment to uh, this okay. beginning, the beginning part of our show, sure. and talk about some of uh, some of the concerts coming up. And since we're from San Diego, yeah. and we are proud of that, yeah, San Diego, we should talk about uh, some bands that we like coming to town. It doesn't have to be bands; it could be hip hop artists, whatever you want, or uh, you know, like anything, pretty much. Okay. But I have some. Do you have some? Uh, not that I can think of, but I, I, mean, I know you. You're in, you're in the music, so <laughs> I do. I do. You're uh, deep into music, man. Um, so nothing you're going to see with Alyssa uh, uh, dis- in like maybe in December or anything. No tickets to anything. Oh no! Yeah, she got tickets for um, Demi Lovato. Ah, uh, that's funny. Okay, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of her, <laughs> but I mean, she's a huge fan. Like she okay. like, that's- and she got like a fr- she ordered tickets and like they sent. They're sending her uh, a free CD mm-hmm. with uh, tickets or whatever, so that's pretty cool. Our friend uh, Dennis, who used to be on the show, uh, he's being dragged to that <laughs> show by uh, his girlfriend as well. Nice. Which I thought was funny. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I know we uh, we might be going to the same place on Saturday. Yes, I, yes. I, I'm way ahead of you. Oh, man, man I'm, sorry. <laughs> no. Excuse me. No, yeah, but uh, with that being said, our buddy um, Tim yes. is in a band. Uh, I guess they're not local because he's technically not from San Diego. <laughs> yeah. But they're, I guess they're based in San Diego now. He's from El Centro. They have a band called All Weather. They're kind of like pop, uh, pop punk. Mm-hmm. Uh, very fun stuff. And they're going to be playing Tower Bar this Saturday. Nice. So if you guys are in the uh, City Heights North Park area, or um, or you're interested in uh, local shows, yeah. you should come down, hang out with us. I think we'll be there. It's at nine, right? Yeah, yep. Yeah. They they should be opening the show. They play. They'll probably play thirty, maybe thirty five minutes. Okay, and, something like that. Uh, but yeah, that's fun. Tim's a awesome guy. Yeah, he's really cool. We love him. He's been on the show before. He supports us. Yeah, we support him. Oh yeah. All weather. Check him out. Check him out. They're also on uh, iTunes and Spotify, wherever yes. you wherever you can find music. Check out their music. If you Download can. that shit. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> next up, uh, we have Chicano Batman uh, oh, okay. playing um, Observatory North Park ah. towards the end of December. So in a, in a few weeks, they'll be coming back to town. They, they're really cool. You haven't? Have you heard? I've of them? never heard of them. No, I, I'm not. I mean, you're into a whole bunch of do, like way more stuff than I am. I just I, I don't really I don't pay attention to music that much in uh, 
in like the like a normal way mm-hmm. um uh i have pandora and, and pandora and i uh wh- whoever artists i have on my you know on my radio that station or whatever is uh-huh. pretty much all i listen to okay yeah well then is, that's uh that's why you got me sir yeah i know you keep me you keep me uh in the loop with everything <laughs> yeah. everything coming here yeah chicano batman they're they're pretty they're pretty crazy man they're they're not they're nothing heavy or anything they're mm-hmm. very like uh kind of jazzy like um almost like alter alternative electronic like rock okay if you say yeah yeah but anyway they're very hard to describe but they're <laughs> you gotta be there they're fun yeah okay chicano batman at north park observatory nice uh, at the end of december then we have um alkaline trio Okay. Who uh, who've been around for years? They're another pop punk band playing a couple days after Chicano Batman at the same spot, Observatory North Park. Um, that is actually uh, you, you're familiar with Blink One Eighty Two, obviously, yeah. right? So, and you you heard about Tom DeLonge leaving the band and then mm-hmm. replacing him with someone else, yeah. another guitarist. Well, it's Alkaline's Matt Skiba oh, okay. is, is now in Tom's spot. Nice. But yeah, Alkaline's real fun too. They're very much uh, deeply rooted, just like Blink. Like mm-hmm. you, same, same concept. Yeah, I think they're three piece as well. Yeah, very fun. Alkaline trio coming to town, and uh, and then my last one, uh, a band that I grew up with and love. These guys are super heavy, mm-hmm. so they're not going to be for everybody. But uh, Converge are going to be playing. Brick by Brick in January. Okay. I think the, towards the end of January. And, um, yeah, that should be fun. They haven't come to town in year, not To San Diego, they haven't come in years. And they just released a new record called The Dusk, the Dusk in Us, which uh, I was a fan of. So if you guys like heavy music, you should check that out. Converge. And um, with that being said, we're going to... He- heavy ch- music as in, like, people, like, punching people and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, there'll there'll be a I'm sure a lot of that. Okay. Yeah. Sweet. I mean, like uh, they're 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 like technical metal. Oh, okay. Yeah. If you, I'm sure you've heard uh, some of that, or you've heard uh, stuff that I listened to at oh, work yeah, yeah. before you yeah. you quit. Or whatever, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. But yeah. So you want to talk about Super Eight, sir? Actually, I want to talk about first before that. I want to talk about. Our screening that we had. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know if you had plans for that later, but I just want to jump into it and yeah, th- yeah, yeah, let's do it, man. Yeah, no, I just wanted to thank everyone that showed up and uh, yeah, I think that it was pretty cool seeing a bunch of people. I think we had like I don't know how many people was it. Uh, I don't know the exact number, but it was uh, there were a lot of people we didn't know. Yeah, and which that, was pretty cool. That was uh, that was amazing, man. Yeah. Uh, doing the shout outs on this show and uh, flyering everywhere. Like, yeah. we, we flyered um, pretty much all of North Park. Yeah, and I, it actually, was... I got some in uh, Elkhorn. Oh, really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. Very cool. So, um, that was. It was fun, man. Yeah, I can't believe we. That's o- It's over, and it was. It was. It was so. Oh man, that was. It was just so cool. Just like leading up to it, mm-hmm. and everything falling into place the way it did, and. Uh, uh, the whole shirt situation, which yeah. was I mean, which is pretty cool. Yeah, we got uh, we got that under control. Yeah, um, which we are probably going to be selling. Yeah, um, we'll, we're, we'll put them up on. Uh, we're gonna put them up on my uh, pin shop, so we'll yes. we'll drop the the information for that towards Later. the end. Yeah, um, and yeah, so we sold we sold a bunch of merch. Yeah, uh, we got to watch the movie. Yeah, which was so cool because I not like. like uh, you got to see it up in LA, right? Yeah, yeah. I went up to uh, yeah, I went up to LA to watch it. So yeah. I had seen it once in black and white uh, on the big screen, but you know, yeah, um, it was uh, such a an awesome experience to see it that way. Mm-hmm. Um, Even the intro and how they they yeah. did the old they did yeah. like this old school introduction, and yeah. it was it was very fun. It was yeah, it was awesome. It was just uh, like I said, it was just a really cool experience uh, to just to meet people or just to see people who I've never seen before and, and to, to yeah, who, see something that we set up. Yeah. Which was awesome. To Yeah. Come, they, they came in and, and sat down and, uh, we didn't even really get to talk to them 
Yeah. Yeah, not personally. Yeah. So we still don't know who they are.